I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from my subscriber. Let me first thank him for giving me an opportunity to solve this question. The question here is, a car is marked at $30,000, dealer allows successive discount of 60%, 4% and 2% on it. What is the net selling price? Now I'll solve this using two different methods, right? So I'll say method one. This is the traditional method, which is normally taught in school, right? So this is method one. And then just give me some more time to show you method two, right? So these are two different methods. Second method is very, very useful, especially to solve multiple choice questions and get the answer in a second. So you'll have to have some patience to get to that point. So let's take some minutes to solve first. Now, what normally is done is kind of like this. You make a table, right? And in this table, you have to write the amounts, percentage discount, then discount, and then the net price, correct? So that is how we will do. So <clears throat> this is the actual method, right? So here we have the price. Okay, the original price. And then we are talking about percent discount. And here we'll talk about discount. And then we say net price. Right. So in this particular question, we are we are I have changed the price which was given by my subscriber to thirty thousand dollars. So the price is thirty thousand dollars. Thirty thousand. Right. So that is in dollars. Percentage discount. First we'll apply sixty percent. Successive means one after the other. Sixty percent. Right. Sixty percent in decimals could be written as 0 0.6, right? So when you give a discount of 60%, you basically multiply the amount, which in this case is 30,000, by 60% or 0 0.6, decimal equivalent. That is 18,000. So 18,000 is the discount on 30,000, Therefore, the net price which you'll be paying is difference of two, right? That is 30,000 take away 18,000. And that gives you 12,000. So what you pay is 12,000. Is it okay? Now, on 12,000, we have 4% discount. So we'll write 12,000 here. 4% as you can see can be written as 4 divided by 100. See, 4 divided by 100 is in decimals 0 0.04. It is important, not 0 0.4, 0 0.04. So, we'll multiply 12,000 by 0 0.04 to get the discount 480. And we'll take away 480 from 12,000. Right? That gives us 11,520. That becomes the net price after 60% successive 4%. Now we also have 2% on it. So let's add 2% discount. So 11,520, 2%, which basically means 0 0.02. So we'll multiply this by 0 0.02. And that gives us in decimals 230. Point four, and we'll take away this from eleven five twenty. Eleven five twenty take away two thirty point four. So the net amount in decimals will be eleven two eight nine point six zero. Right. So that is your answer. So that is how you get your answer, and so we can say. It is dollar 
11289.60. So that is how you could do. This is method number one. Now let's see how to do method number two. Method number two is taking into account what you pay, right? So we start with dollar thirty thousand. If I have discount of sixty percent, what do you pay? Right? How much do you pay? This is what we're trying to understand. The question is, how much do you pay? So if there is discount of 60%, you pay 40%. Do you see that? Of this amount. So you multiply this by what you want to pay, which is 0 0.40, right? And then we have a discount of 4%. So how much do you pay? You pay 96% of this, correct? Because 4% is discount. Though, so you multiply that by 0 0.96. And then you have a discount of 2%, then you don't pay the whole thing, but you still pay 98%, slightly less. That means times 0 0.98. And when you multiply all this, what do you get? Let us see, right? So we have 30,000 times 0.4 times 0.96 times 0.98 equals to, in decimals, we get an amount which is 11289.6. Do you see that? That is how you can immediately find an answer. And that is how you should be doing for multiple choice questions. How much do you pay, correct? So if I, you can check here for yourself. If you multiply 30,000 by 0.4, you will get this amount. If you multiply this by 0.96, you'll get that amount. If you multiply this by 0.98, you'll get that amount. So we could do it in one sentence like this. Successive discounts, what you pay, right? That is the discount, you pay 40%. That is the discount, you pay 96%. That is the discount, you pay 100 minus 2, 98%. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope that helps you to understand the concept. It is that simple. You can always share and subscribe my videos and put some likes if you want. Thank you and all the best.